Uh, I'll never be satisfied with my, uh, my performances. Uh, we didn't get to finish, so that, that's kind of crappy. But I feel like uh, I dominated from, from start to finish. I felt like that was a shutout. Uh, I got to show some of my striking. I got to show I'm not just a grappler. Uh, and I pushed a good hard pace. He caught me towards like the last bit. It didn't really hurt me. It just kind of wobbled me a little bit. But that, that's experience gained. So I'm really, I'm actually happy it happened. Um, yeah, we're, we'll get on to the next one. Let's get home though. Yeah, right. I think anybody that watched it would be impressed, even if you're critical of yourself. Were you surprised though that he was able to withstand that? No, I, honestly, he he was as tough as I thought he was going to be. I knew I knew he wasn't going to break. I knew he wasn't going to fall uh, fold. There's different levels of breaking. There's straight out tapping. There's not getting up when you know you can. And then the level of broke that he did was he didn't. He knew he was down 2-0 and he wasn't trying to finish me. He was trying to survive. And and that's fine, you know. Uh, we, we kind of coasted through the last round. I landed some good shots on him. I thought it was an exciting fight. I think we're candidate for fight of the night right now. Blood, yeah, a little bit of everything. Blood, takedowns, grappling, strikes, knees, elbows. What else can you ask for in a fight other than a finish? Of course, you're still early in your career, but I mean, people are looking at you as a prospect. Um, what's the career path for you? I mean, do you see yourself as a contender in the near future? Do you feel like there's time to develop? What's, what's the path? Uh, you know, I'm young. Uh, slow and steady wins the race. Um, just, just six months ago, I said I wanted to be champion today. I, I still want to be champion. This, this career will not be a success to me unless I become world champion. However, whether that's world champion when I'm 48 or world champion when I'm 27, it doesn't matter. World champion's world champion. So we're going to take our time, gain that experience, and uh, uh, get some checks along the way. You mentioned you would be open to fighting it lightweight as well. Um, what, how would that be different? What would it look different? I mean, would you do anything different with your body type, your preparation? Does it just mean you're just not cutting weight? What, what, what would it be? Man, I am a huge 45er. I, I don't even think that calling me a 45er is fair. Uh, I don't want to get into numbers, but I'm heavier than a welterweight right now. Uh, I, I Making 145 is hard, and making 145 for the amount that I'm making, you know, it, it's just not worth it. And that's nothing on, on what I'm making. I'm being taken care of by the UFC. I'm very happy with where I'm at right now. But if I'm going to go down to 45, I want to make the money doing it. So I want to get a couple of wins at 55, especially with the pandemic happening. We're going to be here quite a bit in Abu Dhabi. I don't think with the flight I can make 145. So it's going to be 155 until everything is normal. And then my coaches and I will sit down and they'll make the decision. I trust them with my career. Whatever James Krause says goes. Last thing for me, you touched on it. Probably some shows in Vegas, then we'll probably come back here and meet. How soon do you want to fight again, knowing that you wouldn't have to cut the weight? I mean, how quickly could you fight? At 155 with the right matchup, I'll turn around tomorrow, whenever. As soon as, as soon as I'm able to fight, let's go. I've been hearing there aren't going to be any fights in Vegas. I've been hearing that they're going to shut Vegas down and they're going to move all the fights to here. I want to be a company man. My teammate, Tim Elliott, uh, he won on Wednesday. He's been, his big thing is he's a company man. I want to be a company man, too. I can't be a company man at 145. At 145, I need... 12 weeks minimum to make that weight. It's, I'm so big. But 155, I can be a company man. You can call me day or night, short notice, long notice, doesn't matter. I will show up on weight ready to fight. You spoke that you were happier than a welterweight right now. Uh, it, when, when do you see the able to finally go back to the US? Do, do you think that's going to be an, an issue for you because they have this weight test that you can be heavier than certain amount of weight you try that kind of fatty weight and stuff like that? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really know where, where my future weight class is right now. For the next at least five fights, it's going to be 155. You have a, um, a lot of second round rear naked chokes in the San and in the series. Are you upset that you weren't able to get another one time? I'm upset that I didn't knock him out in the first 25 seconds. Uh, I come here for finishes. I'm, I'm trying to be exciting. I'm trying to dominate from bell to bell. Uh, I did everything that I say I'm going to do. I was dominant. I won every second of the fight. The only thing that uh, I didn't do that I said I was going to do was get the finish. I'm 16 and 1 with 14 finishes. That's good, but it's not good enough. We're going to get the finish in the next fight. What is, was the easiest the point that you weren't able to get the finish? Uh, he, he wasn't really giving me a whole lot. When I got his back, he was doing a really good job of fighting my hands. At one point, I got around his neck, and I'm pretty sure he just flexed, and my arm was like, man, we're not choking this dude. His neck muscles are too strong. Like, uh, he, he's a bowling ball, you know? He's like this tall and, and that around, just pure muscle. It, it, the, the, the choke wasn't going to be there, but I, I think getting the, the ground and pound in and beating him up was enough. Do you think you're, you're, you're going to have to work something different in your, in your training to prepare? to fight lightweight, so because you have a lot of finish, but 
most of them, all of, or all of them were at February. Now, if you're moving up to 55, you're facing bigger opponents. Nothing changes for me. You know, if, if there was a better way to fight, I would do it. I fight the way I fight because I believe it is the best way for me to get a win. Uh, moving up to, to lightweight, moving up to welterweight, moving up to 205, I'm going to fight the exact same way. I'm not a stick and move kind of guy. I'm an in your face, make you fight me, and let's see who breaks first. My coach talks about going to the dark place, and when opponents want to take you to the dark place, you got to grab their hand and say, all right, let's go. And we went there, uh, you know, Nat hang tough, hung tough, but in the end, I was the winner. So that's all that matters. I fight the way I fight because I believe it's the best way to get wins.